Hey, uh, welcome back. I'm Machine Gun Dad. I'm Scott. Um, other people have done this, but I'm going to expand on it. Um, for the new submachine gun or the new machine gun owners that uh, come across an open bolt weapon, they're going to acquire an open bolt weapon versus your AR-15 style closed bolt M16 or an AK-47. The reason I'm doing this video is not just for the people that are purchasing, but the people that may touch one because it's their friends or whatever. Just a basic something just that you can remember in your mind. Now, first of all, if you watched any old war movie, you always heard lock and load. Well, we're going to take that and we're going to expand on it a little bit. We're going to make it lock, look, and load. All right. And what I have in front of me are he, these are three commonly owned in private hands submachine guns that are all open bolt. And the BAR is an open bolt. All right, now this video applies to open bolt magazine fed weapons, not belt fed or strip fed like a Hotchkiss. Open bolt magazine fed, right? Lock, look, load. Take it easy. Bolt's closed. Push the grip safety in. I'm going to lock the bolt to the rear, i.e., cock it. I'm going to look and then I'm going to load. And if you watch, it's absolutely positive the way the magazine locks in. You know, there's none of this like you see a lot of people do because what they, the incorrect way is, and you watch, there's a lot of videos by people who are gun experts who take a open bolt gun with a loaded magazine, these are all empty, and when they put it in because there's rounds pushing out of the top of the magazine, they're doing this to get the magazine to seat and then they cock the weapon, okay? That's not why you do it that way. First of all, do it with a Mac. Because the Uzi has a ratcheting top cover. You lock it. You let it go. Now you know that the bolt is caught on the sear. Right? You're not this far back. Because if you let go, it, it'll fire. So you lock it. You look. Then you load. If you do it the way a lot of people like to do it is leave the bolt down, insert a loaded magazine. If you're pulling back on the handle and it doesn't engage the sear, I would have just fired around. I could have killed somebody. You lock it. You look to make sure there's no obstructions and then you load. The same thing applies when you unload these weapons, okay? I'm shooting my Mac 10. It's empty. Last round, bolts down. I lock it. I make sure I don't have a jam or a squib or whatever. Look and unload. Lock, look, and unload. That's how you run an open bolt gun, how you load it and how you unload it. The other thing that's important to remember is when you get a jam, in an open bolt gun, failure to feed, a round didn't go off, it's sitting live in the chamber. On an M16, you just run the bolt, okay? On an open bolt gun, you don't run the bolt. You do that, the gun's gonna go off. So, on an open bolt gun, if it jams, let's try the Thompson. A lot of people, if it jams, they'll pull the magazine out first, like an M16. No, that's not what you do on an open bolt gun the gun jams. You leave the magazine in the gun, you lock it, you try to see what's wrong with it, then you clear it. Because, and we're going to demonstrate this in the video, we're going to jam this gun with a live round in the chamber, it shows you, or one of these guns, I haven't decided which one, and pull the magazine out and show you what happens. So when you're running an open bolt gun and it jams, you make sure the bolt is back on the sear you look at your jam and then you clear your magazine. Lock, look, clear, lock, look, load, lock, look, unload. The big thing is lock and look, all right? And it's not just submachine guns. Oh, my World War I BAR, it's a heavy SOB. I don't know if David can see this, but same thing. Lock, look, and you'll see, go out and look at other people's BAR videos. They're pounding the crap out to get these magazines in. 
just slides right in if you do it right. But we are a closed bolt culture because most of the people that start getting into, the, into these type of weapons started with an AR-15, which is a closed bolt system. So they're used to loading with the bolt down. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get prepared here, and we're gonna jam one of these guns up for you here. All right, we're outside. We're gonna show you why lock, look, and load, and lock, look, and unload is mandatory with an open bolt gun. We're gonna film this with my Mac 1045 instead of my Mac 10 9 millimeter because the Mac 1045 was already dirty, and I don't really want to clean another gun. All right, we'll be up we'll get some close-ups in a second. All right, here we are with my Mac 10. As you can see, the bolt is forward. Just for the uh, naysayers, we're on my land, on my property, on my range. And there's nobody else here but me and my two buddies that are helping me film this who are behind the camera. I have a Mac 10 magazine with one round in it because I don't need to shoot more than one. If you if you don't do lock, look, and load, and you do and you load first, and you pull back on the bolt where the bolt doesn't catch. If you let go of the bolt, that's why you do lock, look, and load. Not load and then try to cock the weapon. I never squeezed the trigger. As you saw, my finger's right here. And the gun still went off. Now we'll show you why we don't do lock, look, and why we do lock, look, and unload. All right, we're going to demonstrate now why you do lock, look, and unload, whether it's a jam or the gun, you believe the gun is empty. In this case, I have a live round in a chamber. I have one live round in a magazine, okay? I'm going to put the magazine in, and I'm going to let the bolt go forward on the live round. Now, I'm hoping you can see that. The bolt is trying to strip a round, and the live round is sitting against the live round that jammed in the gun. All right, now I'm going to show you first, if you did lock, look, and unload, what will happen? You're going to lock, you're going to look to see, oh, I've got a jam, and you're going to unload. Guess what happens? Nothing. Now you can clear that jam or try to fire it without another round in it. Now, we'll duplicate it again. If you don't follow that, and you pull the magazine out because you think it's an AR-15, can you got that in frame? Because it has to be up higher. Sure do. I didn't touch the trigger. My finger's still alongside the receiver. I stripped the round out of the magazine. It fell out of the back of the gun, bottom of the gun, and the one in the chamber went off. I have now shot the round that I'm accountable for. Always use lock, look, and load, and lock, look, and unload. Please follow my these safety tips. Make the hobby safer. Thanks for coming to my channel.